seek information. They want to look for information. They have a drive for creativity. And I think we underestimate just how much kids seek new information. Reading documents and papers that have new ideas and research in the neuroscience field is really interesting and especially I like how they're bringing kids into it now. I like reading the articles, getting the information, sponging, absorbing. If you were to have a photographic memory, how would the brain waves be different? I try to do these events because this is about our brains and there's absolutely no reason that knowledge about our brains should be confined to any kind of academic belief. I think it's really important to review for these articles because for a lot of young kids, science is what you do in the classroom, but then what real scientists do is kind of some abstract thing that you don't think you'll ever understand. Kids need to know these amazing research projects are possible and that they can understand them. You get a sense of satisfaction when realizing that the work you're doing will help other people be able to understand this thing and think of it as something that they want to learn about and not something boring. Try to remember when you were a kid and take a, a step back and try to see the big picture. You can actually kind of have a renewed enthusiasm for your own work and remember why what we do is so cool. I think it's important that they know the newest scientific discoveries because one day they can become a neuroscientist or just a scientist itself. And I hope that this journal and its expansion into other areas will really be a nice international source for kids to have access to things that will inspire their own creativity. They have real issues in the world. It's not just discoveries, it's things that you can apply to help treat major problems and they can really make a change for the better.